Hey y'all, I'm back. So the soap that I'm about to make now is for the men because I haven't been making a lot of, you know, soaps for the men. I need to step up my um, inventory for them. So as you can see, I have six colors here. I am making Ed Hardy for the men. So I've carried it before. I don't know if I made it a couple times or one time, but this will be the last time that I'm going to stock it. I think so. So let me go ahead and run through the colors and tell you the design that I'm trying to achieve. So this red right here, let me make sure y'all can see it right here. This is my red obsession. Let me try again. My red obsession from Nurture Soap. It said that this was new. I usually use their really red, um, but I wanted to try this out. The blue right here, this is Aquama. I cannot talk. Ultramarine blue from Nurture Soap. The yellow right here, this is Yellow Vibrance from Nurture Soap. I tried to hold it up so just in case you want to take like a screenshot of the color, I mean of the package so you remember. Um, the green right here is Green Vibrance. I have the black which y'all know is the black oxide and then the white over here which is my winter white. So let me move all of these colorants out of the way because I need as much space as possible. Let me move these to the back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is a tiger stripe. So we all know what a tiger stripe is. But usually, you know, when you're doing it, how you would rotate the colors, like you'll pour one of each a little and keep doing it. What I'm going to do is one solid color of each. So I'm going to pour all the red and then all the blue, all the yellow, yada, yada, yada. And let's see how that turns out. So hopefully it looks okay, but we will find out. So what is on my table? Okay. So I got all these spatulas to the side. I'm going to go ahead and blend up my oils and butters and additives. Come on, cord. So, here we go. That's good. I'm going to pour in my lye water. And I should have got a cup of water to rinse off my stick blender. Um, I don't know if I'll need it, but ooh. Yeah, let me do that. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side just in case I need to clean it off since I, I am gonna have to stick blend these colors. So, back to what I was doing. All right, lye water going in. And I do not remember how this um, fragrance performs at all. I don't think it speeds up. I can't remember though. So emulsify. There we go. Now let's split off my colors. And I have them in the order that I want to pour them in the mold. So I don't know how much I need to put in each one. I'll start with a little and then go back if I need to. might be pretty good. I think I need some more red. So let me scrape the rest of this into the red. That looks good. Let me just get my little paper towel off to the side. And let's start with the white.
give it a quick buzz. Alrighty, Just put them back in the order that I had them. Clean up my mess. Okay, so that was the order. So we're gonna start with the blue. I need room, I need space. Put half over here and the other half over here. Okay, so I'm gonna put some fragrance into the blue. I think this is the order I had. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know. Did I have red, blue, green, yellow? Blue, red, green. I think I had red, blue. Yes, I had red, blue. Goodness. Okay, let's start with the red. Y'all probably shouting at the screen like, that's not the right order. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a little bit of fragrance in here. Woo, this is a sexy fragrance, you hear me? Okay, and we're just going to pour this. I don't think it really matters if it's in a straight line because it's just the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> it does not matter. Okay, so that's that color. And whatever little droplets I have, I'll save for the top. That's why I left the white last. Now onto the blue. Mixed up. Now this one I need to try to pour in a straight line. So I'm gonna turn my mold this way. It's easier for me to pour, I think. We'll try. Not too bad, all right, go. All right, we'll save that. On to the green. Oops, got a little bit of fragrance. It's like this fragrance reverses trace, which is a good thing. I think with green vibrance, it turns this color, but it will turn into a vibrant green, I think. I haven't used it in a while, so let's do green. Okay, 
onto the yellow. Why is my mold bit like that? So let me go ahead and bang this out. I don't like that. It's gonna make my my soap curve in. Why is it doing that? There we go. So now I'm going to Put the rest of the soap on here and we'll be done. Swizzle this back and forth. Make sure y'all can see me. Just like that. And I'm gonna leave it like that, y'all. I don't wanna mess it up. <laughs> so that is it. And I will see you all for the cutting. Bye. Hey everybody, so I am back to cut the Ed Hardy type soap for men. And here is the close up. And look at that red. So that's the red mica. I've never been able to achieve red with a mica always had to use the really red pigment from um nurture soap and i also found out that this my is called my red obsession or red obsession it's not new it looks like it's been out since september or october of 2018 but it's so it's new to me and i do like it i will continue to use it it's not as bright as the really red but this red does suffice so 
Let's go ahead and get this cut. And I know I said I was going to discontinue this, but this fragrance smells really good. I might just keep this as a permanent for the men. I don't know yet. I'm trying to get it down to where I buy all my fragrances from one supplier because right now there's about four or five that I've purchased them from. So let's cut this. And the design, it didn't come out as I had visioned it. But um, you see it kind of swirled up on its own right there. I was really wanting a tiger stripe, but it's okay. I still like it. This smells really good. It's a great fragrance to work with. Very a slow mover. And when I'm telling you that fragrances are good to work with, keep in mind that I do a um, a two to one ratio with my, my lye and my water. So I have a, a water discount. It's really pretty. Thank you. 